Okay, well, in this video, I'm going to share with you in five minutes or less on how to conduct a platoon attack for Army CST. So the first thing is your platoon is going to be pulling a 360 degree security on an objective rally point or patrol base before receiving the mission. So what you're seeing right here is an ORP. So after receiving the mission from your company op org, the platoon leader will issue a war note to your platoon. And the platoon leader will come up with a terrain model along with a platoon op board, along with all the other members of HQ with the squad leaders. And then once that's complete, the platoon leader will then conduct a leader's recon, bringing any important personnel like squad leaders, the point man, and the radio telephone operator to scout the area. And for the order of March, that's up to the platoon leader on how to set that up. So whenever they walk out, they know how to file a line properly. And they're gonna go to the objective and scout the area. Another thing you can do is set up a release point in between the ORP and the objective to act as a checkpoint. And before you leave to go do the leader's recon, the platoon leader will issue a five point contingency plan called the GATWA. And the got was to let the entire platoon know who's going, when the leadership is coming back, and what to do if the platoon gets attacked or what to do if the leadership get attacked. So after the leader's recon, all squad leaders should know where to place their squads on the objective. They're going to come back into the RP. Or another way that's more efficient is after the leader's recon, the leadership will go back to the release point and radio to the PSG to get everyone at the ORP to come meet up at the RP. So the platoon will now move out usually in a platoon column fire team wedge, but it'll depend on the terrain and what the PL commands. And this is what a fire team wedge looks like. And this is what a platoon column fire team wedge looks like. So they're going to go to the RP. And once they reach the RP, the platoon leader will set up all of his elements to prepare for the attack. And this is optional. You can set up a security and observation team by picking two people from any squad to be your eyes and ears near the objective so they can give you constant updates by radioing to the PL what's going on. So once the platoon reaches the RP, PL is going to set up his assault elements in any way he wants. So he's going to set it up down here and he's going to be with them. He's also going to set up his weapon squad, gun one and gun two with the PSG controlling that. And then he's going to get security squad to pull rear security on the back. Now, one thing to note, the security element can be placed anywhere depending on the mission and terrain. It's all up to the PL. If there's a road on the other side and you have intel that there may be enemy reinforcements, you can place your security team on that road and split them up as Alpha Team and Bravo Team. Once all elements are in place, the platoon leader will conduct an attack by following a pace plan, usually by initiating fires or blowing a whistle. And once all of the enemy are down after the mad minute, the assaulting elements will bound through the objective and kick any weapons away from the op four's reach. They'll bound through. And then the support by fire team will turn around and pull rear security. And then lastly, the security element will come and pull security on the objective. Now, once all of the elements are in place, you want to spread them out evenly and pull 360 security. And then after 360 security, the platoon leader will call for special teams with the enemy prisoner of war first and then Aiden litter second. Once that's complete, the PL will radio HQ and give them a situational report. And once complete, the cadre will yell change of mission or index. And that is how you conduct a platoon attack.